everyone to another Monday night at the Beat. I'm happy to be here reunited with Christina after weeks of not teaching together. And um, we had a fun class tonight, but first a quick shout out. We'll be in Pittsburgh in a couple of weeks. So hello to the Pittsburgh community. We'll be with our German friend Zoe. So hello Zoe, we welcome you this week. And uh, what was the title or the, the theme for this class? Ocho's, right, for who? Oh, good. What are some rules about if you're just practicing Ocho's, maybe with a partner? What are you thinking about? Spine. spine. Circular. What about our spines? Are they tilted? No. Are each other? No. <coughs> Try to be vertical. And then even though we're pivoting so much that our belly buttons are facing away each other, when we step, what is our intention or our goal? Around. We're trying so to step up where? Around. Around. Around each other. Okay, this is a practice exercise with no lead. When we add the lead, what am I trying to be here, leaders? A little bit. A little bit. Good. What embraces this? Sure. And how much am I going to turn my spine in the direction? The same amount. Yeah, just the same amount. Same amount, thank you. So followers, um, are we far away from our leaders? Can you turn this way from us so the camera can see you from far? Are we far away from our leaders? No. No. Because if we're too far away, what happens? What's the next challenge? Step yeah, it's hard to step around them. Our goal is to watch followers. After we pivot, yeah, we're, we have a little bit of this contact. So we really have to think how we are able to create a long step around. Am I just stepping around with my leg? No. Yeah, we need to use our whole body so we can really snake around our leader. What's the rule of the embrace? First, first rule that we did, we call it the rule of the embrace. You can turn this on and you embrace it. Yeah. You can, followers can do what? Yeah. You want to leave me? What's the rule of the embrace? I heard it from a leader. Yeah, as long as you don't break the embrace, you can turn your hips. So does that mean under-rotate or over-rotate when you do forward ochos? Over. Good. Unless the leader blocks you otherwise, but if not, then over-rotate. You can always do what with your, with what? Open up your hip and step around them again. Great. Okay. Um, and then, um, what was the conclusion to chapter one? We added what? Movement. Good. Leaders, what did you feel? What was the timing for this? You create the space and then you take the space. Yep. Yeah, so my spine is starting to lead my partner to walk and then I turn her around me. So followers, in our embrace where we create a little bit of resistance, a little bit away from our leader, where is that resistance coming from? Back. From our backs. Yeah, it's not just coming from our hands or our arms pulling on our leader's shoulders in this case. Yeah. So we want to really try to focus on using our backs, especially our mid-back. Yeah. Um. In chapter 1.5, what did we add? The leader's Ocho, correct? We'll show you that in the demo. You guys are kind of quiet, so we're not going to continue on. I think we're so tired. <laughs> I need to just get into the practica. So, but in our demo, we'll do lots of Ochos. Um, what was the other rule that we talked about? There was the rule of the embrace and the rule of the hips. So that's only if the leader is what? It's a narrow willow tree, right, thank you. The minute the leader starts stepping or puts his foot out, it's hard, but Christina will at least try to get there. 
And leaders, pay attention to how I'm trying to use what to lead everything. Mostly the spine. I'm trying not to telescope my hands and use too much of this.